I guess this is a good place as any to start. So, uh, what are we doing today? Uh, well, I hooked up the uh, Insta360 instead of the GoPro to the old uh, vlogging helmet. And just going out for a test spin on this uh, overcast, dreary, very windy uh, Sunday. Still on vacation this week. So, got the adapter hooked up, plugged into where the GoPro usually goes. There's an adapter, hopefully, it doesn't go flying off. But uh, we shall see. We shall see. It's a new system. So, uh, have absolutely no idea how it's going to work. I don't even know what it's going to look like. Uh, the lens happens to be offset to the right a little bit, not uh, directly straight forward as the uh, GoPro would be. But uh, I do gain the advantage that I can uh, pan it around so I don't have to keep turning my head. Oh, let's look at that way. Let's look at that way. Could just, uh, I think I could just concentrate more on the ride. highway yeah I don't know uh, I hope it turns out okay uh, I don't think there's any reason why it shouldn't usually I have it mounted over here on the old uh, handlebars uh, of course that when you do go to edit the footage you gotta every time you turn the uh, the bars here it like, changes the point of view and but it should be self leveling I know it's uh, currently mounted horizontally because uh, if I have to rotate every uh, file, that's that's going to be wickedly wild. Because somebody left his keys in the car. So. Boy, I think that light got really, really long. A lot longer than it used to be. Two things I hope happen, one that it comes out uh, pretty clear, unfortunately this uh, helmet doesn't happen to be my uh, quietest, but uh, the other thing I hope uh, the, the uh, Insta360 doesn't go flying off and the whole uh, Endeavor goes ass under over tea kettle, that would be bad. So, luckily for me the uh, Sunday drivers are all out, so I'll be doing my best to avoid them. Tattoo shop. Oh uh, boy. Buy Riker parts or get a new tattoo. <laughs> Tough call. We get a tattoo of the Riker. No, that's not going to happen. Hollywood Garage. That, uh, that guy right there has been in an episode of uh, American Pickers, I believe.
that the uh, cold weather's over, or at least they hope it is. It's uh, high 50s today. So it was like 60 something yesterday, but that it uh, it poured last night. As soon as it got dark out, had a thunderstorm. Luckily, no power outages. So, oh, damn it, that was good. Pizzeria's got the wood fire oven going. You can smell it. That red light camera. No, sorry, speedy camera. Oh man, that smells good. Maybe a wood fired pizza tonight. Alright, dog's got me in his sights. The dog has me in its sights. <laughs> Did not know that dogs do not like motorcycles. I guess we're taking Amboy all the way to the end. New Jersey. I think that's Pear Thamboy. I don't know exactly uh, what the borders are on that side. This one's coming along nicely. Yep. like the uh, almost the southernmost tip of uh, New York State I'm sure there's a marker for it somewhere that's one hell of a driveway That is a nice house. Maybe it's part of the park. I swear I'm going to have to go the long way. at Conference House Park. All right. I think back in the day during the Revolutionary War, there was uh, that house over there. I guess the guy that owned the land over here hosted a meeting between the British. I believe it was uh, Ben Franklin and somebody else. I'll look it up. I'll put it somewhere down here. If I, uh, little note. Uh, obviously, the uh, peace accords uh, fell through <laughs> since we did fight the war all the way to the end. And uh, obviously, that's a uh, New York City park now. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, front of the house that we saw from over there when we went down that dead-end street. Biddle House, built in 1845. Since some of these houses are uh, privately owned. You know, the cool thing is over at that conference house is uh, they have a Santa Claus at uh, right before Christmas time. And they have them, uh, you know, it's like a museum, but it's, it's usually not open. 
so uh, long story short you uh they have Santa Claus in there you got to go inside sit in his lap ask him tell him what you want for uh, Christmas it's pretty cool especially with that uh you know 1800 uh well 18th century vibe going on and then they make uh hot apple cider and uh here's some cookies and stuff it's a nice little shindig damn no well, at least he's not uh, interested in me thank god i try to get the speed up see how uh see how the wind noise is stretch was uh, good enough to be a nice test Tottenville pool I think there was a show on HBO or Netflix they shot in there I think it was called Staten Island summer if I remember I'll put it uh, down there somewhere. Uh, bird watchers. Ah, oh, boy. Haven't been in here in a long time. church so this thing burnt down years ago and uh, they kept the facade they didn't have the money to rebuild it back to the original size so it's uh, the back is a lot smaller than the front and usually on the top of the cross up there uh, you sometimes get to see the uh, there's a bald eagle that uh, flies in from that side facility yeah. as long as the uh, as long as the roads aren't too bad I guess we'll go a little exploring in the middle of nowhere
no eagles today. And, uh, to the right, we have the Matt Loretto Unique Area. Department of Environmental Conservation runs that joint. Now, that, back in the day, used to be an orphanage. Uh, it has since uh, tumbled into the sea. But uh, that whole park, this whole area was a big farm that uh, I would assume was worked by the, uh, the orphans before they got uh, adopted. If they got adopted. And, uh, you know, up there is the uh, lighthouse. Behind me now. So. There is a little bit of history. That's the fishing pier. This is the pothole that almost launched me off this thing when I first got it. That uh, that piece of blacktop just went over. That that thing was a giant deep divot. Something collapsed in there. And I went over it and the uh, the back wheel got hooked and I just <laughs> I was went over the handlebars. Scared the crap out of me. Getting that whiff of wood smoke again. Must be getting close to the pizzerias. Or someone's house. It wouldn't surprise me if these guys have uh fireplaces this thing has been idling rather rough lately no codes just uh, idle just an idle because it's electronic I'm sure there's no idle switch or uh, settings feels like it's just 50 rpms too slow I think we'll bring this uh, video to a close now uh, please I know it's at the end of the video probably should have done the beginning but if you wouldn't mind like subscribe notifications if you choose much appreciated uh, tell me what you think guys uh, you know comment section the bottom feel free